So, you're thinking about introducing desk time for your team, but you're not quite sure where to begin. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up your desk time account and give you some tips on how to communicate with your team about implementing a productivity monitoring tool. Let's get into it. First, you'll need to create your desk time account. It's quick and easy. Just type in your details, answer a few questions, and there you have it. The next step depends on whether you want to track your own personal productivity stats, not just your team's. If you want to see your daily productivity statistics, the next thing on your to-do list is downloading the desk time app on your computer. Each operating system will have a slightly different process for this, but don't worry, I'll link step-by-step -step instructions for each operating system in the description below. But if you don't want to see your own productivity stats, you can just manage your team on desk time web without downloading the app. However, I would recommend that you do download the app. It'll make it much easier for you to understand and explain the desk time experience to your team. Once your app is up and running, let's set up your teams. Grouping your employees into teams will make it easier for you to oversee everyone's progress and help you get more precise productivity reports and statistics. To create a team, go to the settings section in your desk time menu, select teams, and click add new team. Write down the team name, and there you go. In this section, you can always add new teams or edit and delete your existing ones. When you've added your teams, it's time to add teammates. In the settings section, go to the team members tab. Here, click on the add team members button to start adding your employee details, their name, email, team, and what desk time role you want them to have. Desk time has five user roles with different levels of permissions. For example, the company owner can view all team data and change or edit all settings whereas an employee can only view their own data. I'll link more info about user roles in the description below. Remember, if you're managing a large team, you don't have to add every person manually. You can import their data from Slack, Google Workspace, or a CSV file. If you want an accurate view of what your team is working on, you can create and track time for specific projects and tasks. You can create and keep track of your projects in the Projects tab in your desk time dashboard. But if you're using a project management tool like Jira, GitLab, or Basecamp, you don't have to manually add all your projects. You can just integrate your project management tool with desk time and import your project automatically. Take a look at our integrations page for more info. I'll link it down in the description below. And there you have it. If you want to see an overview of your team's productivity stats, just head over to the dashboard section. In this tab, you can view the overall productivity levels of all team members. You can also choose to view specific team data instead, for example, sales or accounting. If you want to view your own data for the day, go to the My Desk Time tab. Now you can start tracking, but remember, learning how to use desk time is just half of the job. When you're starting out with desk time, it's important to think about how your employees will feel about time tracking and productivity monitoring. It will only work if everyone's on board. Everything will depend on how you view time tracking and how you communicate it to your team. So let's go over some tips on how to talk about desk time with your employees. The most effective way to use desk time is to think of time tracking as a two-way street. You get a sense of safety that your employees are doing a good job and your employees get increased trust and flexibility in their working environment. Here are three strategies you can use to help your team feel more comfortable with using desk time. First, focus on the benefits. Your employees might be apprehensive about time tracking at first, but you need to find what's in it for them. What's the golden reward that'll make them realize that time tracking isn't actually that bad? You can introduce flexible working hours or allow your employees to work more from home. If they get something in return, they'll be more inclined to accept this change. Second, it's all about the framing. If you view desk time as a tool to punish unproductive employees, your employees will see it that way too. In that case, they'll likely spend their energy trying to trick you and desk time into thinking they're working rather than just doing the work. But if you introduce desk time as a self-accountability tool and emphasize that it's here to ensure better project planning, better resource allocation, or an improved work-life balance, they'll find it easier to get used to productivity monitoring. 
Third, give your team time to adjust. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day and your employees won't become desk time pros in one day either. Make sure you communicate your expectations clearly, be prepared to answer questions, and most importantly, give them time. It'll take a while for people to get settled and learn how desk time works. If you want to read more about how to implement desk time for your employees, make sure to check out the story of Scrivenek. Scrivenek is a language agency with 300 employees and offices in more than 10 countries. They began using DeskTime even before the pandemic and found that honesty and transparency were the key strategies that helped them communicate this change to their team. All right, that's it for me. Do you have any questions about using DeskTime? Feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you want to see more tutorials about how to use DeskTime, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got loads more videos coming soon. That's all from me. Bye.